morning class this is sonal your social science teacher i hope you all are doing very good today we will revise block 22 physical features of the earth be ready with all your essentials study this block thoroughly underline important sentences and difficult words of this block pause the video study the block and come back again and answer my questions and you can see physical features what are physical features physical features are found and formed naturally on the surface of the earth all these land and water features are called the physical features of the earth some physical features we will discuss today are this is hot desert cold desert plateau this is a plateau and mountain observe the difference between them plateau and mountain and this is plain we live in plains so observe plateau and mountain and answer that what is common between a hill and a mountain how do you identify whether it is a hill or a mountain and what is a mountain or hill range what's your answer you can answer to your partner so both hills and mountains are tall and higher than the surrounding area so what is common between them that both hills and mountains are tall and higher than the surrounding area and mountains are higher than the hills the slopes of hills are gentle and the slopes of mountains are steep the peaks of the mountains are sharper than the peaks of the hills you can see in this picture that the peaks of the mountains are sharper okay and this is a hill so you can see slope of a hill is gentle and the peak is not sharp like mountain they are rounded or they are gen gentle we can say so what are the differences that mountains have a sharp peak than hills and mountains have a steep slope and hills have gentle slope and most of the mountains are covered with snow at the top and hills are covered with grasses and trees this is the difference mountains are more cold than the hills and what is mountain or hill range so when a number of mountains and hills are arranged together in a series we call them a mountain or hill range such as the himalayan range for example himalayan range and hills and mountains are cold in winter and pleasant in summer season now answer what is a valley how are hills and mountains important landforms so what is a valley so the low land between hills and mountains is known as a valley you can see in this picture low land between hills or a mountain is known as valley this low land most of the valleys have a river flowing through them these rivers are formed so these rivers are formed by the melting of snow from the mountains when the snow of the mountains melt so the water flow through the valleys that's why most of the valleys have a river flowing through them and how hills and mountains are important landforms 
and how is the valley important valley is important because of the presence of water most people can grow crops and build houses and get water from the rivers by living near a valley and the climate is pleasant in a valley now how they are important landforms hills and mountains hills and mountains are important landforms because of the plants that grow on them these plants give us wood herbs and other products some plants can grow on the slopes of the mountains only such as tea coffee and apple most of the places where we like to visit during summers are situated on mountains and hills such as shimla and uti and people also like to go to the mountains for skiing in the winter now answer how is the climate different on a mountain and a hill so mountains that are covered with snow are cold throughout the year and the climate in the hills is not as cold as the mountains now answer how is a plain different from a valley and why are plains an important landform so what is the difference between them uh, like valleys plain is also a low land but plains are flatter and featureless valleys are found between hills and mountains and valleys are narrow flat land and running between the mountains plains are vast flat land the soil in plains is often very good for growing crops it is easy to make roads and buildings on a plain as the land is flat and now answer how is a plateau different from a hill how is a cold desert different from a hot desert plateaus are also high like mountains but they do not have peaks like a hill in this way they are different from a hill plateaus are high like mountains and hills but they do not have peaks like a like a hill as you can see in this picture they do not have peaks because plateaus are flat at the top and therefore also known as table land why because they are flat like table from the top and answer how is a cold desert different from a hot desert do you know any differences so hot deserts are dry and covered with sand as you can see in this picture and camel is the ship of hot desert uh, why because paddy feet of camel are suitable to walk on a hot desert and do you know what is a desert desert is a dry land which receives very less or no rainfall that place becomes desert we have two type of desert hot desert and cold desert so difference is hot deserts are covered with sand and have hot climate and cold deserts are covered with snow throughout the year and deserts have very few plants now answer how is the climate in a plateau and a plain would be different from the climate of a desert so the climate in a plateau is hot and filled with moisture means humid hot and humid and the uh, climate of a plain is uh, hot in summer and cold in winters and climate of a desert hot deserts are uh, very hot and uh, cold desert are covered with snow throughout the year so they are very cold throughout the year and this is your writing work 
सो रिमेनिंग टॉप रिमेनिंग टॉपिक और रिमेनिंग फिजिकल फीचर्स वी विल रिवाइज टूमोरो ओके सो दिस इज योर राइटिंग वर्क फॉर टुडे फ्रॉम दीज टॉपिक्स हाउ इज अ डेजर्ट डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द हिल एंड माउंटेन एंड नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज राइट अ फ्यू फीचर्स ऑफ प्लेटूज एंड प्लेन्स इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट यू कैन आस्क रिवाइज योर ब्लॉग प्रॉपरली एंड कंप्लीट योर वर्क टेक केयर एवरी वन गॉड ब्लेस